So I'm using the Navigate on autopilot and I'm confirming a lane change. Just tap the blinker and it automatically moves over to the left lane. Sorry, I'm bouncing as it does it. I have it in Mad Max mode. So it will aggressively move into a new lane and speed up to my intended maximum speed. This is the third lane change I've made since I got on Route 540 in Raleigh. Um, now that I'm in the left lane, I expect there won't be any more lane changes, but I will pause now and oh, look at a motorcycle on the screen as it goes by. That's so cool. Look at that, the motorcycle. It's like playing a video game. All right, I will uh, pause the video and turn it back on when I'm gonna make the next lane change. Actually, I don't like staying in a left lane, so I'm going to make it go into the middle lane. So, just turn down my left blinker, and you can see it follow into the mid middle lane here. Um, and you see the three lanes show up on the display as I'm heading home. Um, I initiated it by hitting that blue navigate on autopilot button there on the right. So I'll pause again and see if it takes me from the middle lane um, and moves me over prior to getting off exit 14, which is my exit off of 540 here. So it's telling me to move over. I'm going to hit the button here one time briefly. Uh, oh, it didn't engage. So, or was it telling me to hold the steering wheel? Well, oh, let me pause again. I am curious at the end of the exit ramp how it's going to handle getting out of navigate on autopilot mode. mode. Um, so we'll see. i got a few more minutes to go. So I, have, I essentially have about a mile before I hit the exit. Um, and it has not told me to move over and I'm hitting a string of three cars here. Okay, so now it's gonna tell me after I hit these three cars, but I just said move over, but it can't. Um, so it's either gotta slow down to move over or it's gotta speed up. Now my blinker is staying on even though I'm not holding it. And the back car just backed up for me and let me in and it moved between those three cars that had filled the lane and got me over without me doing anything. I didn't even have to look over my shoulder. Um, although I kind of sort of did, but I didn't. Uh, and now let's see how it handles getting off the exit ramp here. Okay, it sees the exit ramp. It's taking me off the exit ramp 400 feet, 300 feet, 200 feet, navigating, and it just disengaged. It had a countdown in distance. I had to move the camera up to see it. So now all of a sudden I'm in regular mode and I'm not on uh, the uh, autopilot. I just, it got really freaked out there and it shouldn't have. But anyway, um, kind of cool. Come up on the ramp here. All done with the video. Um, very happy with the new navigate on autopilot feature. I'll be using it for a really long drive uh, in two days up to Easton, Maryland.